Hey guys. Um, so I just filmed a video on how to do your Gmail signature um, and how to make it a little nicer and add your logo. But I realized afterwards, one of my friends tweeted at me um, that some of you can't just upload a new image. Um, I have a Gmail business account, so that might be part of it. Um, but there are other ways to get your image on there. So I'm going to show you how to do it um, by using a URL or if you're not in Gmail, using HTML to um, insert the code on your own. So let me switch over to screen share here really quick. First, I'm going to show you in Gmail. So right now, let me exit out here. Um, I just went into my Gmail. I clicked on my gear icon and I went to settings. Now, when you scroll down, um, you'll see your signature. Normally what happens is you can click on the insert image button and that should let you upload. So I have my drive. Um, if you have this option, you can just go to Google Drive and upload your logo into there and use it from here. Um, upload should be selecting a file from your computer and then you have web address. Um, a good way around this Okay, so what you would do is go to somewhere like Photo Bucket or um, Amazon, and you want to upload your logo to some other photo host. Um, don't use Dropbox or anything like that because that will not work. Um, it needs to be something where it's permanently going to stay. So I'll upload it into Photo Bucket. And most of these places are free. Photo Bucket is free if that's a good option for you. And you'll see it load down here. Um, so once it's done, you can get the URL for your image. You just go to your image page. Sorry, you guys, I'm uploading videos while filming this. So my computer is moving super slow. OK. So once you click on an image in Photo Bucket, over here you have the image URL. So it should be at this top one right here. Just click on that, it'll copy it, and then you can go into your Gmail again and upload it there. Now, if for some reason you don't have any of those options, you can't add an image, you can use um, HTML. This also works if you're on like Outlook or Yahoo, you can add an HTML um, a signature. I forgot the word there for a minute. So what you want to do is still upload your image to somewhere like Photoshop, or not Photoshop, Photo Bucket, um, because it needs to be hosted somewhere. And you still need to copy this URL right here. Then what you're going to do, let me pull this up, is type in this HTML code. So it's um, image src equals, and then in the quotation marks, you want to post your URL in there. Um, I'm going to leave it like that just to keep it easier. Then if you want to, you can go to, let's pull this back up. I just realized you guys might not have been able to see that. Let's try this. Hold on. Yep, you guys can't see that. Hold on one second. <laughs> I need to share my full screen. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, you guys. OK, so this is what the code looks like. Image SRC equal sign quotation mark your link and quotation and then close it with brackets. So right here is where you post the link. Now, if you go to a website like w3schools.com, um, you can also see how to add some other HTML to kind of help you format. So for example, I need to remember the exact, mm, I think it's like this. So after your end quotation, you can type style equals end quotation, align. If you wanted it to be to the left of whatever text you have, 
you would want it to look like this. Um, actually, this might be easier if you do like this. You know what? Let me double check. I want to make sure I'm getting this coding right before I like tell you guys how to do this because oh, got all kinds of stuff popping up here. Um. Yeah, I guess this will work. So instead of adding the style coding into your link, just add it beforehand. So for example, we'll do image align. If you wanted your image to the left, oh, you would go like this. And this is the code that you would use um, in your signature with your actual link here that will show your image to the left side of your email signature. So if I go back into Gmail here, you'll see I have this left aligned um, and my icons here are center aligned. So that's how I got those images there. You can also just use the space key to kind of align that in the center of wherever you want. Um, I think that's everything. I know that my friend hopped on to Google. Ooh, let's stop doing that. So, um, let me pull up the chat here. Staying quiet as I work. No problem, Krishna. Am I saying your name right? I've never, I'm so bad with names, you guys. Like, so, so bad. Um, either way, if you guys have questions, ask me in the chat real quick. Um, I will post this on YouTube, so if you're watching this replay, just ask me questions down below. I'll post the actual HTML code, so if you need that, um, I want to double check and make sure it's right before I like share it. So I'll post that down in the description box, but if for some reason Google is not letting you upload an image, go to your account and check on the settings. Um, a lot of times you need to actually approve the connection between like Google Drive and Google. If you've never used Google Drive, go search for it and sign in. And then you should be able to upload images from Google Drive into your inbox. Other than that, that should be everything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.